Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My day is going pretty awesome. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's really hot. Uh, yesterday was a long day. It took me a while to get emails replied to and everything, so we ran out of time. But today I've promised the kids I'm going to take them swimming this afternoon, and I'm quite excited about it as well because the last three weeks have been pretty rubbish. And my kids are very outdoorsy kids, and when it rains like that, a lot of the other kids go home, and then Garen won't play on his own, for, his, for example. He's like, well, I'm trying to play football or trying to play uh, hockey at the school and everyone went home I can't play on my own so you come home and sulk and be miserable until the rain stops and then he goes out and it starts raining again and the same thing all over so yeah I'm gonna take them swimming today and they're really excited I'm really excited to be honest with you uh, as you can see I'm rocking the old JGR merch here if you guys are interested it's the first link in the description I'll stick a discount code there as well for you if you're interested but as usual feel no obligation to do so that's completely up to you it would mean the world to me but please don't feel any obligation today we are reacting to the dead deadliest submarine the USA has ever built and in my opinion submarines are pretty deadly anyway I mean just look at what happened recently I'm joking I'm sorry I shouldn't joke about that um, but yeah they, they they fascinate me but they scare the absolute laugh out of me I don't know why I don't know whether it's the whole being underwater thing in basically a metal tube I don't know how else to describe it but they are so fascinating I mean just looking at this picture here I can't I I can sort of think about how big they are, but without seeing one in real life, I can't really get my head around the size of them. And I'm, I'm, I'm imagining they're freaking huge. So I'm really interested to check this video out. It actually was recommended after that video we watched yesterday of the Gatlin guns. And those were pretty awesome. And I'll stick a link up there or there, whichever bloody corner it goes in. But you can check that video out as well. That was pretty cool. Some of those guns are 6,000 rounds a minute. That is insane. Anyway, we're not talking about that. Now we're talking about submarines. And without further ado, let's check out the deadliest submarine the USA has ever built. Whoa, it's like a whale. That thing is crazy. Ohio Holy crap. Sorry, I don't mean to pause so, so quick. Look how fast it's going. I didn't think they went that fast. Look, I thought, look at that. Ohio That's class quick. ballistic missile submarines, the US military's ultimate Ooh. weapon. Look how small the people are Ohio on the top. They're not small, but you know what I mean. Submarines are some of the quietest, stealthiest submarines in the world. The Ohio submarines represent America's ace in the hole. Megatons of nuclear firepower quietly patrolling the world's oceans, ensuring that any nuclear attack on the United States will not go unpunished. In addition to the 14 nice. ballistic missile submarines, four have been converted to missile carriers capable of unleashing more than 150 conventionally armed cruise missiles against the most heavily defended targets. Flippin' heck. The Ohio-class submarines were the result of an early 1970s requirement for a larger missile submarine capable of carrying the next generation and beyond of submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Submarine-launched missiles were growing longer and wider due to the demand that they carry Look multiple the warhead re-entry vehicles while maintaining and even extending their range. When you see it just fire out the submarine, you, it doesn't really give you a good, mm, a good grasp on how big it is. But then when you see people standing next to it, that thing is massive. Holy crap. I thought it was maybe going to be a meter, two meters, maybe a bit more. That is huge. Warhead re-entry vehicles while maintaining and even extending their range. The U.S. Navy's older submarines of the George Washington and Ethan Allen classes were physically unable to accommodate the newer Poseidon and projected Trident series of missiles. The Ohio class was initially meant to be a simple upgrade of the Lafayette class submarines, but the Navy was anxious to include advances in nuclear propulsion quieting learned from the USS Norwal submarine and its natural circulation technology reactor, the S5G, and ultimately decided in favor of clean sheet submarine design. The submarines were designed to be 560 feet long with a beam of 42 feet, feet able to accommodate two rows of 12 Trident C4, later D5 missiles each. The hulls were constructed of HY-80 steel for strength. The submarine displaces 18,750 tons submerged and has an operating speed in excess of 20 knots. 
20 knots that's uh, i'll have to check that up that's something i can't quite remember i used to remember that like you could like the conversion 20 knots is pretty damn fast though the ohio boats packed 24 trident c4 24. missiles each with a range of 4600 miles and carrying 800 kiloton warheads oh this was a God. marked improvement over the earlier poseidon missile which had a range of just 2876 miles while poseidon could easily hit moscow from the norwegian sea more distant targets in Central Russia and Soviet Central Asia were out of reach. The C-4 allowed the Ohio class to strike the same area from as far as the mid-Atlantic or the entire western half of the USSR mm. if operated. I've said it once and I'll say it a thousand million times. I really, really hope these weapons never ever have to be used because we all, we all fail. Uh, we all lose if that happens, don't we? It's not just going to be... Uh, isolated incident it's gonna flip and the domino effect will be outrageous but flipping heck the ability that these things have is out out of this world it's so scary and like you or me if we're out there on our boat and if they don't break the surface you're not even gonna know they're there that is so scary as far man. as the mid-atlantic or the entire Look western half of the goes. ussr if operating east of iceland Altogether, each submarine boasted a total of 19.2 megatons in nuclear weapons. In 1990, the Ohio-class submarines began transitioning oh to a God. new missile, Trident D-5, that's still in service today. D-5 is a larger, heavier missile that carried eight warheads of 100 or 475 kilotons each and has a maximum effective range of 7,456 miles. This considerable range upgrade makes it possible for a submarine equipped with a Trident D-5 to strike any point in the former Soviet Union while tied up at the submarine base at Kings Bay, Georgia. Hmm. Depending on the warhead configuration, each Ohio submarine armed with D-5s went to sea with a total of 19.2 to 91.2 megatons. Each fleet ballistic missile submarine spends an estimated 66% of its time at sea with two sets of crews, blue and gold, alternately manning the boat. Patrols last for 70 days with a 25-day handover period in port between crews, meaning an average crew will spend 70 days at sea and 95 days on shore. A major 12-month overhaul is undertaken every nine years. Since the end of the Cold War, a number of changes have come about to a missile submarine fleet. Under the terms of the START II Treaty, the number of nuclear-armed submarines was reduced from 18 to 14. The 2010 New START Treaty limited the number of Trident D-5s deployed at any one time to 240 missiles. Oh to God. comply with this, four <laughs> missile <laughs> launch tubes per submarine are removed, reducing each submarine to 20 missiles each. Under New Start, each missile has an average of three to. Is that the actual size of them? Oh man, was that like they made it big just to be? That is insane. Six warheads each. Arms control experts Hans Christensen and Robert S. Norris estimate the United States has between four and five submarines on hard alert at any one time, capable of responding to a surprise nuclear attack, with another two undergoing overhauls. One of the least obvious but more important upgrades to the D-5 in recent years is the advent of the Superfuse that allows them to attack hardened targets including communication sites and missile silos. Although the ability to hand off counterforce targets to the submarine fleet is meant to make a smaller nuclear force more credible, some experts believe making such a difficult to detect weapon so deadly is inherently destabilizing. The four Ohio-class submarines removed from fleet ballistic missile submarine duty still had 10 to 15 years of service left in them. <laughs> Rather than dispose of the holes, the Navy found a radical solution, convert each to a guided missile submarine, or SSGN. Each submarine had its Jesus. ballistic missile tube. We're just going to... Oh, you want to retire them? No, actually, I've got an idea. <laughs> Let's make them more dangerous. Or SSGN. <laughs> Each submarine had its ballistic missile tubes reworked to carry up to seven Tomahawk cruise missiles for a total of 154 missiles per submarine. A single oh sub can strike up to 154 targets with a one-ton warhead at ranges of nearly a thousand miles. 
a valuable capability in conventional conflict against countries like Iran, North Korea, or even Russia or China. That's scary, guided, man. That is so scary. Look at that. Against countries like Iran, North Korea. You are vapor. <laughs> You're not even going to know it's happened. Or even Russia or China. The guided missile variants represent a potent kick down the door Flippin capability, heck. striking enemy command and control and air defense assets before friendly manned aircraft come within range. That's so scary. The 14 Ohio class missile submarines are unseen protectors of America from nuclear ambush. Each will probably remain in service for 40 years or more, depending on how well their replacements, the Columbia class, stick to their timetable. Their conventionally armed brethren offer a powerful, flexible option for dealing with everything from terrorist groups to nation states. These undersea giants are not only the most deadly war machines ever built, but some of the most flexible as well. Mm. If replacements go according to schedule. Sorry to interrupt again, but if you just, I, I had to pause here because this is what I wanted to show you. If you look on that, I don't even know what it's called. And you look at like the metalwork, it, it doesn't look much, does it? It doesn't look really well built, but obviously it is. I'm just saying they don't have to look pretty, but holy crap. I mean, if you look at it, it, it doesn't look nicely built if that makes sense it doesn't look very strong i think that's what i'm trying to say so it looks like it's almost like a tin roof obviously it's not i know that but it's just like it's crazy to me they scared they so scary but some these of things the haunt my dreams as well if replacements go according to schedule then the oldest ohio class submarine will have served in the u.s navy for 45 years nearly oh, wow. half a century a great run for some of the most powerful submarines the United States ever built. Mm. The silent destroyers, eh? When you're looking at it like that, when it's in the water and there's a bit obviously out, how deep down does it actually go? I, I didn't hear the part. I know I was probably talking, which I apologize for. Uh, so many people give me grief about that. But like, how deep or wide are they to hold that many missiles? It is so freaking scary. But, but it's sort of comforting as, as well to know that they're there um, in case it, anything does kick off. But like I've said, if, if it ever, this is my opinion take it with a grain of salt if it ever does kick off to the point where the nukes are actually used i don't think any of us are safe i think it's the politicians and uh the people with power who will be safe because they've all got their little bunkers and stuff a lot of us don't have that sort of stuff we the cannon fodder um unfortunately that's my opinion i don't know how true it is i just that's the way i think that's why i don't follow any news or anything because i'd rather not know i'd rather be chilling in my bed or going for a walk and then all of a sudden bang it's gone it's over i don't want to know um just stresses you out anyway guys on that morbid note uh, i hope you have an amazing rest of your day uh, don't forget to hug a loved one and i will see you all in the next video peace